Aj. It's very soft suddenly. My front tire just sank. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Oi. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? Ça va, ça va et vous? Oh! <laughs> It's, It's difficile! It's difficile! I go to Yabasi. Go to Yabasi. Is it. Is it bien? Oui, oui, oui. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. After Tabaco, it's okay. You write this every day? Ah, oh, me, yes, every day, every day. Respect. Yeah, I, I feel it. I'm impressed with you guys because it's it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. Now we we'll get the uh, book. You need my passport. Yes. Yes. No problem. I want to see. Okay, okay. Okay. Can I go? Right, right okay. Thank you, man. Have a good day. Huh? Good luck. <laughs> Ah, the people here are so nice. What do you call uh, people from Cameroon? Cameroonians? No, I don't know. <laughs> But they're nice. Um, poof. What about this one? Oh. Oi, oi, oi. This is a difficult one. I think I should uh, go over the rocks actually. Because it looks very slippery. Oh, this is a tricky one. Do some uh, enduro, you know, while I'm at it. Uh, I doubt from the helmet camera you probably can see so well the rocks and everything, but. Oof. Stuff. They said something about the road getting better <laughs> at some point. I wonder when.
I can pass? Oh, ça va? How are you? Oh, I speak English. Yeah, uh, it's very tough. Vous c'est ce quoi? I go to Yabasi. Yeah. Yabasi? Yeah. yeah. Is the road good? Oh. No, the road is not bad. No, no. It's good. It's good. Good. Better, better than this. It's very bad. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good. Doctor, I go to Yabasi. It's fine. That is good news. Very bad. Now you police, eh? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Is this my visa, Cameroon? Visa, Cameroon. Yeah, 60 countries. But Cameroon is the best. In general, it's complete. It's complete and it's the paper to circulate. It's the right to circulate because it's the paper. Prop. Merci. It's prop. Yeah, they were right. The road is not as bad as it was before. I think the whole definition of what is bad road just kind of shifted here. <laughs> so yeah, what normally would be quite a mission is now like the easy part. To here. So there then, I suppose. Here? Here? No. I cannot go through here. No. Through here. Okay. Do I go here or here? Through here. Okay, thanks. That mud pit must be really deep then if everybody goes through here. <laughs> Piece of cake. Wow. It is absolutely spectacular here. Oh. Bonjour. I'm running straight through the jungle of Cameroon. It ain't over until it's over. You just never know how deep it is. You just gotta hope for the best.
wow. It is so beautiful here. It's kind of like paradise. Hard work. But paradise, right? on the map. I'm not far, it's not far. Maybe it's even less than 20. Almost there, I think. Oop. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was a deep one. Oh. Bonjour! Ça va? Et combien de kilomètres pour Yabasi? Environ 12 et 15. Vous n'êtes plus loin. 12? Vous êtes déjà passé par l'île. Vous êtes déjà passé par l'île? Oui. Ok. Vous êtes déjà bientôt arrivé. Merci. Bonjour. Is this Yabasi? Yes. Au <laughs> revoir. Oh, I made it to Yabasi. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh man. Only uh, 220 kilometers to go <laughs> to Kribi. It's turned uh, a little tough again. At least this road used to be paved at some point. <laughs> it's just uh, not in very good condition any longer. Bonjour. Aïe. You think I can go through here? I think I can go through here, no? Tough day. No, 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 
lean this way. <laughs> that was hard. I have reached Edea. It is 116 kilometers left to Kribi, but that will all be asphalt, I think. So I'm actually on the lookout for a bike wash place because oh, the mud is so terrible and it's just grinding away at my chain and everything. So. I should really try and have her washed again. Hi, thanks. I'm looking for a wa bike wash. Washing. For washing. Yeah. Do you know a place? Yes. From this way. This way? Station. From station this way. You get a wash car. At the fuel station? Yeah. Station. Oh. Station. Station. Okay. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice day. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Hi. I went to uh, Loom Yabasi. It's. Yeah. This is how Alaska Au revoir. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Alaska is clean. Let's find a place to stay for tonight. I am exhausted. But look, I am at the coast. I'm at the beach. How about that? Wow, look at this. Welcome to Kribi. Wow. The river is pretty wild up here. And that looks like a church. So I've made it to Kribi. It was so hard, but yeah, what an adventure. And I mean, this is the daily reality for a lot of the local people. And there were just locals all the time. You know, all the people that live in the villages there, that, that's their road. So it was just incredible to see kind of that reality. And I was kind of happy I only had to endure it for one day. I couldn't imagine having to do that every single day. It was insane. And I actually dropped Alaska one more time, which was actually the worst out of all of them because that was really deep water. I think it was nearly half a meter of water. And again, she was kind of laying like half upside down and I didn't catch it on camera because I wasn't filming, but I was, I, I really thought I drowned her. I thought this is it, you know, the air intake must be underwater now. I must have drowned her. So immediately my mind was going, how do I get out of here? And I was thinking, I do have a toe strap with me. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere at the bottom of one of my bags. I think I have a toe strap. So I was already thinking, okay, maybe one of the locals can tow me out. Or I was immediately <laughs> thinking of like an escape plan. But to my surprise, she started. So uh, it must have been a really close call and I didn't run the engine. But hey, I did it. 
and I made it to Kribi, so super happy. I'm now staying in a place, there's electricity, there's running water, there's a hot shower even. So I'm just really bathing in this luxury of having all of that. And um, they're doing my laundry, so I have some clean clothes because everything I had, you know, got wet. In the last place where I did laundry, they didn't dry my clothes, so I got everything back wet. So obviously that immediately starts smelling. So um, I'm going to be super happy when I receive dry, clean clothes. They, those are kind of the, the things that, you know, you appreciate a lot uh, traveling around here. It's the small things, having, finding a good meal and having clean clothes and having warm water, running water, maybe some electricity. <laughs> uh, those are the things that I really, really appreciate uh, when I find them. Yeah, I reached the, the coast of Cameroon, so uh, really happy. Uh, I'm going to end this video, uh, but that was it for today. Really hope you liked it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I will see you in the next video.